Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.43 a.m. Alexa, play some music. Here is Spotify. Hey, is this Steve? Hey, this is Horace. We met a while back. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. How are you? What are you up to today? I was thinking about you and I wonder if you're available today. I'm actually thinking that maybe we can have lunch, watch a movie together, you know, chat a little this time, get to know each other. No problem, food's on me. Hey there, uh, welcome in. Thanks. Should I take my shoes off? Yeah, that'd be great. Do you have trouble finding parking? Uh, no, not at all. So who made you want to call? Well, they say if two people hook up on the first date, they don't have a chance at being in a relationship. I wanted to test that theory. How very experimental of you. What made you want to come? You know, I felt pretty weird after I called you. Calling someone for a second date after, what, three months? Three and a half months. It was unexpected. I don't know, I was free today. Enjoyed our first date. It was nice. But neither of us called. <sighs> exactly. Until now. Oh, this must be our food. I'll go down and get it. No, I'll go. You paid for it, so at least I get it. Okay. So when I was coming back, I took a wrong turn and noticed a pool. There is a pool. But I never use it. Seriously? I'm not one of those sitting sunbathed by the pool kind of guys. Would you mind if I take a dip? Now? After lunch. Be my guest. So, what do you do for work? I work at a talent agency. Cool. Who do you represent? Chris Hemsworth. Wow, really? No. And I'm a receptionist. I don't get to talk to the clients. You? I work for a tech startup. How? Yeah. I invented Grindr. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's legal consultation. Apps are really hot right now. 
Yeah. Let's go to the pool. Do you have an extra pair of shorts? I have some gym shorts. That'll do. Those shorts? Yeah, I'll go grab them for you. So how does it work? How does what work? Phobia thing. I mean, it's a phobia, right? When you don't swim? No. Yes. There was that one time I almost had an accident. What happened? The ocean was so cold when I got in. And... My leg started to cramp, and I'm not a strong swimmer to begin with. So what? Now, every time you see a large body of water that's bigger than, I don't know, say a bathtub, you just get scared? I guess you could say that, yeah. Even if you know it's shallow? I mean, look, I'm standing. I guess that's how phobias work. Seeing is no longer believing. Are you okay? No, I'm cramping. Well, can't you stand? No. Help me. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 come, come, grab my hand. I've been afraid of water since the accident. One moment I was near death. And the next thing I know, I was in your arms, safe and sound. I guess when two polar opposite experiences happen so fast back to back, it makes someone, someone like me, crazy. Thank you. Morris. And I want to move on. Morris. Are you okay? I'm sorry, that was such a lame prank. I didn't mean to. No, 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 it's, it's okay. You were right, it's, it's actually very shallow. You stared at me for a good minute without saying anything. It's kind of scary. What are you thinking about? You never know if they're gonna save you or dump you. Or in my case, both. It wasn't just about the accident. It never was. Things just started to slowly fall apart and then he just stopped returning my phone calls. That's why I joined Tinder, to start not taking things so seriously. You know, you were my first Tinder date since I moved here. So what's your story? I don't have one. Everybody does. Well, mine would be a boring one. I didn't really have a dating life before I moved here. You know, a small town in the south wasn't exactly the best place for me to, Yeah. you know. Then I moved here and I learned the rules. What rules? Hook up on the first date and then wait for someone to call? <laughs> exactly. 